So hello everybody, my name is Maria and I'm from Facing and now we're going to talk a little bit about Advent. Hey, and I'm Pete. I'm Therapy and as Maria already told you today, we're going to take a closer look on the theme of Advent. So we thought Advent is really close and we need to do something which can prepare us for Advent. And so we thought it would be really lovely to craft our own Advent calendar. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to build our own Advent calendar. We're going to build these beautiful envelopes and these boxes. That by the end of November, you have your own Advent calendar, which you can give to your loved ones, to your friends, or to your family, or you can just keep it for yourself. So next week, we are going to talk about what we can put in our Advent calendar and how the Advent calendar was invented, because it's a really interesting story and what Advent means to us. So you can really excited and just follow my instructions on how to build an advent calendar and yeah i would say let's jump right into it to make our own advent calendar you need colored paper scissors glue and if you want you can also use some sticker or decoration to make your boxes and envelopes look really lovely you can decide if you just want to use envelopes for your calendar or just boxes or both at first i want to show you how you can make an envelope you take a sheet of colored paper and fold one corner to the other side of the paper, like this. Then you take your scissors and cut along the line. So that you have a square in the end. The next step is to fold one corner to the opposite corner, unfold it and finally fold three corners to the inside. Once you have done this, you unfold one side which is opposite to the one which you did not fold and finally fold the one missing corner to the upper line. Now the typical envelope shape is already visible. Just fold the top of the corner which you last folded downwards and then fix everything with glue. Additionally, I took a tinier square of a different color and put it in the inside of the envelope to make it look prettier. But you don't have to do this. Now I'm going to show you how you can make such a paper box, which can be opened and closed. You take a sheet of paper and fold one corner to the other side of the paper. Then you take your scissors and cut along the line so that you have a square in the end. It's basically the same like we did when we did our envelopes. Now you fold a square in the middle twice, meaning you cut it in half, so that you have a square with four smaller squares at the end.
Now you fold all four corners to the inside so that you have a smaller square as a result. Once you have completed this, you fold one side of the square upwards and one downwards, so that the square is divided into three at the end. You do this also with the other side, so that you have nine tiny squares in one big square in the end. Then you unfold two sides of the square and set them up so that they are vertical like this. And then you put the end to the bottom of the box. You do the same for the other side. The only difference is that you do not need to put the end to the bottom of the box, but that you leave it as a cover to open and close the box. Finally, you can take your glue and fix everything. Well done everybody for making it until now. We finished our box. Now we are going to the numbers, which we can put on our boxes and envelopes, to mark the days until Christmas. I've drawn circles on a white sheet of paper, cut them out and drew a number and some holly berries and leaf on it. As I thought it looks quite Christmassy. <laughs> but you can do it how you like it. For example, just write the numbers down or use sticker or other materials to decorate your advent calendar. I hope you have a lot of fun to make your own advent calendar at home and I'm really looking forward to see you next week. Bye!